This photograph is one that really haunts me because it's a photograph taken out of someone's kitchen window or living room window. We see the teacups sitting on the windowsill and they're looking down into the courtyard of their apartment building at their Jewish neighbors who are being rounded up. We're in Amsterdam um, in the Netherlands and this is 1940. So at this point in time, uh, Amsterdam and all of the Netherlands are occupied by Germany and it was actually a very, very brutal occupation. The Dutch people were quite opposed overall to the um, invasion from their neighbor, Germany, and as a result they were treated uh, with a lot of violence and brutality. And the survival statistics for Dutch Jews are accordingly really terrible. It's one of the lowest survival rates uh, in all of occupied Europe. Something like 70% of Jews who were living in the Netherlands at the start of the war are dead by the end. Uh, and that's again, one of the lowest survival rates. So what we are seeing is a moment in time early in this process, when they move from living under occupation, living with restrictions on what Jews can do, where they can go, where they can work, if they can even sit on a park bench, now their physical survival is being threatened and they are being removed from their homes uh, and taken into something they don't know, but something that uh, for most of them will end in death. But the people down there with their bags of belongings, with their sacks of clothes or whatever they've decided to take with them, they don't know where they're going. And the person who's looking out the window probably cannot know any more than they do. In fact, certainly does not. But I want us to remind ourselves also, that this is not like today when we have cell phones and can easily take a picture of a thousand things a day. Not that many people had cameras at that time. And so it was a commitment to take a photograph, to use expensive film, meant that the photographer had thought, this is significant. I want to document what I'm looking at, and I see that something is happening to my neighbors, and it's happening to parents, it's happening to kids, it's happening to elderly people, and I think this is something that I want to remember and be able to show to others. We do not know about the photographer, um, so it's just a neighbor. So in the middle of what is probably a normal-ish day, as much as wartime can be normal, uh, someone you know washing their dishes or having a cup of tea, um, they look out and they see this scene happening and decide that they need to capture it for posterity.